regardless of their status, uh, migrants, refugees uh, seem to face uh, serious human rights violation and abuse about, uh, along the route. We distinguish abuse from violation using that legal terminology. Abuse is by non-state actors, whereas violation is by uh, state authorities. You cannot dismiss the body of evidence of having interviewed uh, 32,000 people. Sometimes states are telling us, well, expulsions don't happen, uh, detention is not happening, you know. Yes, there are instances of trafficking, but not that many on the road. We have developed in the report a couple of maps that help us to locate where the danger are. For us, as humanitarian aid agents, it's quite critical because we need to make sure the services, not just the services we offer directly through our partners, but the services that are available uh, uh, by the national authorities, by the local authorities, are located where the risks are the most acute. And this is not to facilitate the movement of people, it is not to encourage people to embark in dangerous journey, is to find protection solution to address the abuse and the violation uh, they suffer. The way to address that in the public opinion in Europe today is, again, to, 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 to remind people that the majority of migrants and on, on refugees are, are not moving on world to Europe. They are staying within Africa, they're moving within uh, neighboring countries. The vast majority stay, I mean, it's almost 70% stay in the country next to their country of origin.